Now in this lesson we're going to do some work on calculating distance. Now in these questions we'll see distance, speed and time. I'm going to show you a nice little diagram that shows us the connection between all three. We draw a little triangle and draw the line across like that. And the three letters, the D, the S and the T, standing for distance, speed and time, in alphabetical order the first one we would write would be D. So the D goes up the top. The next one alphabetically would be S, followed by the T. And we're going to write a little time sign between the S and the T. Now the D stands for distance, and distance equals, now if we cover that D up, what have we got? We've got S times T. We've got speed times time. Now S stands for speed, so speed equals, now let's cover that S up, and you'll see that we have the D over the T. So it is distance over time. And that over symbol means to divide. The next one, T standing for time, so time equals, let's cover the T up. What are we left with? D over S. Distance over speed. And again, that over symbol is to divide. Example one. A car travels at an average speed of 60 kilometres per hour for three hours. How far does it go? Well, let's write down some information. The speed is 60 kilometres per hour, and three hours is the time, the time it goes for three hours. Now, a little diagram again. Let's see if we can remember how we draw it. What goes up the top? Distance, down the bottom, S and T. Put the times or multiplication symbol in between. So how far does it go? We're after the distance. So D equals, cover it up, we can see S times T. So let's write that down. So we have speed times the time. Where the speed is 60, the time is 3. So 60 times 3. And we calculate 60 times 3, that equals 180 kilometres. So there's our answer. The question was, how far does it go? Let's write it in sentence form. The car travels 180 kilometres. Terrific. Example two. How far does a plane fly in six hours, 30 minutes, if it has an average speed of 840 kilometres per hour? Well, the average speed is given. Let's write that down. And the time is six hours, 30 minutes. We'll write that as being the time is six and a half hours. Now again, our diagram. Up the top, D for distance, then we have S for speed, T for time, and we need to multiply down the bottom there. So the question, how far does the plane fly? That's the distance. So D equals, now on our diagram, cover the D up. What are we left with? S times T, speed multiplied by time. So S times T, the speed is 840, the time is 6.5. So 840 times 6.5. Now we're multiplying by 6.5. Hmm, not so easy. Let's think about that. We'll break it up into a couple of steps. So let's do some working out over here. The 6.5 hours, we're going to think 6 hours firstly, and then that extra half hour. And all together we'll have 6.5 hours travelled. So let's do the 6 hours firstly. The speed is 840 kilometres every hour. That's per hour. So we'll have 840 times 6. We multiply them out. So here we go. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 4 is 24. Put the 4 down, carry the 2. 6 times 8 is 48, plus 2 is 50. OK, so that's the distance in 6 hours. Moving on, what about half an hour? How far would you go in half an hour? Well, the speed is 840 kilometres per hour, every hour. So in half an hour, we travel half that distance. So we need to think, what is half of 840? Well, a half of 840 is 420. So six and a half hours then. Well, that's the distance in six hours. That's the distance in half an hour. Let's add the two distances. So let's do that addition. Zero plus zero is zero. Four plus two is six. Zero plus four is four. And five by itself remains as five. So there we have it, 5,460. Let's write that in our answer there. 
So how far does the plane fly? Let's write our final answer in sentence form. The plane flies 5,460 kilometers.